kid-friendly paleo granola. Yum. Hey everyone, it's Emily from Our Nightway. And, and me too, Kevin. And Kevin. And today we're going to show you how to make... Paleo granola. Translation, paleo granola. I have switched my diet over to mostly paleo, and he is still eating um, non-paleo foods, but we are slowly transferring him to some, <laughs> some gluten-free and um, more health-conscious, low-sugar yeah. snacks. And we this can't, is, I can't really eat sugar all the time, right, Mom? <laughs> yes. Anyways, this is one that we both enjoy. It's one of my favorite cereals to have in the morning. And it and tastes, it smells good. It smells good and tastes good. Uh-oh. And um, uh, we both enjoy it as a snack with fruit, don't we? Yeah. Okay. I, I enjoy it with blueberry fruit. Yeah. All right, let's see how this is done. Ingredients needed to make paleo granola are... Three cups of choice nuts and seeds. In this particular blend, I have cashews, pecans, walnuts, and pepe salted pepitas. I like the taste, the flavor the salt adds in the nuts. So everything else doesn't have salts, but the pepitas do. And then a cup of raisins, four tablespoons of flax, four tablespoons of um, chia seeds, one tablespoon or teaspoon rather of cinnamon one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one fourth cup honey, and one fourth cup coconut oil. And you're going to take the coconut oil and the honey and the spices and heat them in a pot and it will give you this mixture which you will pour over your granola. Uh, once your coconut and honey has mixed together and vanilla has mixed together, I like to add the spices here so that when you um, put it in, over your granola, the spices distribute evenly. I don't know where I found this tip because I didn't do it the first time and I have big clumps of spices, but um, thank you whoever told me this because it really does make a difference. All right, so in a bowl, you're going to combine your three cups of nuts and seeds. You can stir that a little bit if you'd like. Your one cup of raisins. Give that a good old stir. Mix it up with the seeds, baked doll. Your flax seeds. And your chia seeds. All right, let's and go. don't forget the honey! Oh, we'll do the honey in just a minute. We gotta get this all mixed up first. Give it a good old mix. Can you mix it? Give it a good old mix. There you go. All right, and then you're going to mix in your honey and your spices. Okay, and that's it? Mm-hmm, and then we're gonna mix it and we're gonna bake it. Right? Mm-hmm. I don't wanna get wet. Oh, I'm not gonna get you wet, you goofball. All right, I'm gonna stir this one. Why? Because it can be a little hard at first. Because it's all gooey. Yeah, it's all gooey and it's got all that yummy honey and coconut oil. It smells good now. It smells even better than just regular honey. Yeah. All right, you want to give it a good old stir now? No. Nah. All right, so now that we are mixing it nice and good, you did a really good job, Kellen. Thank you. We're gonna pour it onto our parchment paper on our baking pan. I'm just making them flat. Oh, thank you, that's so helpful. All that yummy it looks like a food mountain. It does look like a food mountain, that's right. That smells awesome. And then we're gonna spread it out nice and even. Can I do some? Yep. Good spreading. Make it wet. Mm hmm Can I fix it? We're gonna try and get it all even so we don't have any taller than the rest. You're such a good helper. I love when you help me. You're welcome. Well, can we fix that problem? Yeah, the big scoop of raisins right there that didn't come apart. Yes. Alright, is that better? Mm-hmm. Big clump of raisins. And now the spices! Oh, the spices are already in there, honey. Remember we mixed them with the honey? 
Now we're gonna bake it and then we're gonna cool it and when it's all nice and sticky, we're gonna break it up and make granola out of it. Sound good? Hi, Jason. No, not right now. Not yet, we gotta wait till it's finished. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. Bake at 350. For 10 to 15 minutes. Tip for 10 for 15 minutes. So we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. You That's ready? That's one time. Yep. Mm, look at that yummy goodness, fresh out of the oven. So now you're gonna let your granola cool. Once it cools down, you're gonna break it into bits and put it in your storage container. I actually like to store mine in the fridge because I think it lasts, or I, I don't know, I just store it in the fridge, that's what I do. Um, but feel free to experiment with your granola. You can add different kinds of nuts, different types of seeds, different types of dried fruit. I like dried apricots in this. It's really good with dried apricots. I just didn't have any on hand. Or cranberries. Um, you can do flavored honeys. You can do different spices. Just really whatever you want to make it your personal granola. Once it's cooled down, you can break it apart and put it into your bowl for storing. Um, I wish this had smell-o-vision because it is really delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Paleo goodness. So while this little guy took a nap, the granola cooked and cooled, and now it's ready to eat. Doesn't that look yummy? Oops, <laughs> I just dropped it. I meant to I just dropped it. You ready to try? Is it good? Do you like it? Do you give it two thumbs up? Two thumbs up, all right. All right, so that's our paleo granola recipe. Feel free to add whatever nuts you want to to it. Coconut would be great in here. Um, other dried fruits, like I said. So, all right, you gonna eat your snacks so you have some energy for Taekwondo today? All right, say, say have a good day. Have a good day. Say bye. Bye. Look at them and say bye. Bye.